Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have one system to do from PubSky TDX, so a massive thank you to him for um, sending this system in. But again guys, a massive, massive thank you for everyone who tuned in to episode 100 or the uh, 10,000 subscriber special where we uh, did over 10 systems um, and got through a ton of them. So um, got me up to date with all of the systems that have been sent in. So yeah, just a huge thanks to everyone who showed up there. We had a really good time and obviously if you're... Um, you want to go ahead and catch up on all those systems in that um, stream video then you can find it on my channel um, so yeah go ahead and check that out if you want to see all of the uh, systems I did in there I was some pretty interesting ones I have to say so um, yeah there's all that but now let's begin so yeah today we have one like I said from um, PubSky TDX so this system is called the um, solar system of illusions so let's go um, and uh, search this up all right so here we go this is how it's spelled there we go so solar system of the illusions or have you said so here we go right let's see what he has got for us here okay hey guys and thanks for checking out my system it's about a solar system that hosts alien life okay cool so let's go ahead to the center star here and let's begin so we'll go on orbit mode right there we go so that is the system i wonder how many objects we've got in here 160 so there could be some rings around right so anyways here is the star a little less than the sun in mass, luminosity, and radius by the looks of it there. A little, quite a lot less in luminosity, actually. So, yeah, there we are. All right, now moving on to the first object of the day. Here we go. So, this is bandana here. So this is an all um, hot pink colored object, as we can see, with some oceans as well. Four degrees as well. Here we are. Let's check these stats on it. 95 and 12 there. So, pretty good. Really nice looking um, pink with the um, blue oceans there, actually. Looking good. So yeah, there is our first object. So first object is a water well. That makes a change. Uh, I'm now moving on to the next one here. So we have Rubrum Terrum here. So this one is a orange world. So also um, very um, heavy with oceans. 101 degrees. So it's a pretty, pretty hot object. As we can see here, those oceans must be very, very warm in temperature. So it's 80 and then 32. So higher life likelihood on this one. So yeah, there we go there. Similar stats to Earth with radius and size. So yeah, there we go there. Right now, moving on. So the next one is Catina over here. So this one again is another ocean world, as we can see here. So it's going with a more desert look to it, with obviously an even bigger ocean at 50 degrees. So also a pretty hot. So a lot of them um, very very hot um, worlds in the um, inner system here with oceans. This one's got some decent stats on it as well there, at 88 and 49. So there we are. Moving on, the next one I think is is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. These two are very similar orbits. So this one, oh, I'm liking this. So it's a frozen world, as we can see. So it's minus 13. So it's almost, um, almost, um, yeah, the clouds have almost disappeared on this one. I'm not sure if that is actual water or it's all ice. I want to say it's ice by the looks of it. Yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think that's just white water. I think that's fully frozen now. Um, so yeah, there we go there. The clouds are still there as it's still warm enough to keep them. But yeah, here we go there. Looking good, actually, in the image up here. It looks really good with the two-tone atmosphere. It's, it's more of a white atmosphere here. But as we go up, it turns to more of a yellow color, as we can see there. And I think that is a very, very nice object, I think. That's uh, my favorite one so far. So there is that one. Then we have the next one over here, which is um, Looptopia here. And this one is a very, very dark green Titan Venus-like world. So underneath here, underneath the atmosphere, well, yeah, a very... Um, Good looking ocean world right here so um yeah there we go there obviously got some clouds it's like a foresty ocean world is what vibe i get from that with the green atmosphere that green atmosphere does look good i have to say 11 degrees and its stats are there 92 and 22 but yeah that is definitely one of the top ones in the system as well if you ask me so yeah there we go now we are on this one here so this is um lung or lunk a dot a so here we go here and this is actually a io by the looks of it with oceans white atmosphere and city lights as well yeah very nice so a colonized io with a white atmosphere that does look pretty good i have to say with a nice um io surface very very nice indeed there let's check the stats on what this has 82 and 50 yeah really high stats in here very hattable world we did say it was an alien world so it would make sense that a lot of these are hattable so yeah there we go there right now moving on to the next one over here actually um yeah we've got got, got des des here so this is a um golden yellow atmosphere one with an orange surface underneath there and this one is the first object to um not have any water on it um i think so yeah here it is here so we'll see its life stats aren't really going to be anything since there's no oceans but yeah there we go there so it reminds me of mars honestly with a yellow atmosphere instead there so there we go now moving on we didn't do this one oh it's trantor hey this is one of mine hey very nice so here we go here 
Looking different to my own one. It's all frozen up, actually, because this one is uh, one that does like to have that frozen glitch. But, yeah, there we go there. Definitely a beautiful looking world. The city lights on it are not there for some reason, but yeah, it should have red lights. But yeah, there we go. Very nice looking world there, as I have one myself. Really, really cool there. So there we go. Now moving on to the next one is this red one here. So this is the first gas giant of the system here. So it, um, sup, -ig, sup gig. Here we have this one here. So um, yeah, it's pretty large in size as well. And then it has one moon in a very um, interesting orbit over here. It's actually a gas um moon as well very large uranus or even bigger than uranus and neptune actually this one here but yeah there we go so there are its colors so pretty um interesting range of colors on it right there so there we are so that's the lapis here right now we are heading to the next one so this is um pub 31b over here so it's a yellow world with a white atmosphere on it right there looking pretty interesting there so they go also around the size of earth so a lot of them are quite similar i'll be interested to see them all in the chart mode so yeah, there we go. And then now we are moving on to this one. Oh, this one's looking very nice. So uh, Minko Nada. Really sorry if I'm scrapping the pronunciation on these. But yeah, here it is. So it's a very, very banded Neptune blue-like object. Looking very, very fine right there. Very nice indeed. It's a lot larger than Neptune is though. Almost double the size. Or radius, sorry. So yeah, there we go. All right, we did that one. All right, now moving on to I think is the last object. Whereabouts is it? Okay, so all the way over here, so it's been ejected out of the system here, and it is one of those crazy Venuses. So here we are here. So as you can see, it's got a Venus texture on it right now. It's glowing green, but since there's no starlight, it's all just going to um, be like this, which is pretty good. But yeah, if we put it closer to a star, it would look like the image up here, which is pretty insane. I and mean, we can do it in studio. Any light it receives, and it glows like crazy. But also, all the way out here, no light. You see what it, or see what it truly is underneath. So a very, very tinted green Venus, as we can see very far from the star as well pretty much in interstellar space by the looks of it here does it even read the star as the parent and oh, it does actually but yeah there it is there so you're pretty far away it's only a 12 kilometers or 12 au west it's not that far actually but um yeah there we go so there is that so that's fire lax right so awesome stuff but there was 160 objects in here didn't see any rings anywhere let's go into chart mode and see if we can maybe i missed one but here we go so here are all of the objects so there's the um super um object in here then we've got the um lovely blue neptune look like that's definitely my favorite one in here then we're going into the rockies honestly i think this one is my favorite out of all of them i really like the um way the colors go on this one with the frozen ocean as well that's looking really good tram tour is obviously cool since it's um one of mine as well um but yeah there we go so there are these that one as well very notable i think all i think these three here the uh, yeah this one trantor and then yeah looptopia definitely the top ones for me um in the system but yeah there we go and then this one as well is also pretty cool the glowing venus and then yeah the io as well also um, pretty notable but yeah they're my top three right there and top gas giants 100 percent the neptune blue one but yeah i don't think there's any rings in here it must just be uh evaporation particles yeah back to 17 objects so it must have been but yeah there we are guys so that is the whole lineup of objects today so yeah let us know um what you think down below in the comments and also a massive thank you to the um creator of this system pub sky tdx for sending this system in had a um, good time um looking through this one yeah nice job with the objects really cool and yeah this one i think that's probably my favorite overall i have to say really really like the way this one is presented very nice indeed right there yeah that one that one does take the cake for me really like that one so yeah there we go and yeah guys let us know um, what you think down below because i'm pretty sure he'd like to have any feedback um if you've got any so let us know down below in the comments and also guys if you want to send in your own systems make sure to draw my discord server link in the description and you can upload them the um, universe sandbox simulation files you can upload it in the um dedicated chat for it in the server and then there you go job done i can get it done for a video as soon as you upload it so um yeah there we are but yeah that is everything guys so let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video as well subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 11,000 subscribers as well guys also a massive thanks to 10,000 again and yeah that is everything guys so yeah massive thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and yeah have a good rest of your day guys goodbye